Hi folks. Yes, I'm a fanboy of Austrian wine. Hell, I'm proud of it. This week I can hear the Kamptal calling. Coming right up. Hi folks, Tony Melville here with yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as you know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And yes, indeed, I may be a fanboy of Austrian wine, but hey, I'm not on anybody's payroll. And if you want quality wine at a really budget price, you've come to the right address. My Wine of the Week for this week is none other than this one here. It's Steininger Reserve, Loisium Weingarten, and the vintage is 2017. And this is a Grüner Weltliner wine, a single variety wine, vintage 2017, coming in for a price of just over 18 euro a bottle where I am. Okay, this is officially DAC Kamptal Reserve and it comes from Weingut Steininger. Single variety wine, 100% uh, Grüner Weltliner. Now we know that the Grüner Weltliner along with the Riesling is the big wine of uh, this area of Austria. We're talking Lower Austria, we're talking the uh, Krems area of Lower Austria. It's roughly an hour to the west of Vienna. And in fact, Steininger are based in Langenlois, uh, which is about 10 kilometers or so northeast of Krems, a uh, 15 minute drive or so in the Kamp Valley, the Kamptal. And the camp, of course, is a tributary of the Danube. Right, now the two big areas in the Krems region there are the Kremstal and the Kamptal, and they are indeed two of Austria's finest white wine areas. A variety of soils, clay, rocks, silty lus, hot summers, cool nights, a uh, long, warm autumn season produces some fantastic wines. Okay. So this is a Grüner Weltliner. If we look at it in the glass, it has that straw gold color to it. A wonderful straw gold color with just a slight perhaps tinge of green in there as well, as many of the Grüner Weltliners do. Now, Grüner Weltliner is one of Austria's big grapes. Uh, roughly 30% of Austrian vineyards are planted with this particular grape, especially in the northeast of the country. Fine, let's have a sniff of this and see what we get in the nose. And the immediate aromas which are springing up from the glass here are very, very fruity indeed. Very, very pleasant. Um, what would I say that is? You know, um, in a kind of a, a house where apples are kept or stored, it's that wonderful apply uh, aroma that rises from the apples when they've been stored for a while. An apple, uh, but it's not entirely apple. Hold on a second. No, indeed, there's a little touch of apricot in there. So a very, very exotic mixture of apple and apricot in the nose. Um, maybe something perhaps larger and more solid as well. How about a touch of melon? So we've got here apple, uh, red, ripe apple, um, some apricot, maybe a touch of melon in the nose there, and mm, maybe even a touch of pepper somewhere in there as well, or is it really green pepper? I don't know. But anyway, the um, fruits are very much to the fore. Very fruity, very gentle, very warm, very aromatic, the nose of this wine here. Okay, let's go for the taste now and see what we find in the mouth. Mm. Now the mouth is rather difficult, the pal in the palate. Um, slightly more citrusy in its orientation. The citrus didn't really come through in the nose, but now in the palate, the citrus fruit is coming through more strongly. This is 
a very, very fruity wine indeed. It has a whole range of fruits to it. So those uh, apple, apricot, peach, uh, maybe melon, a little bit of pepper in there as well, or maybe you know, green pepper, green paprika in there as well. Uh, fruity. Lively, tingly, fills the mouth, a great balance, great harmony to this wine. It has a few grams of sugar in it, 13.5% alcohol, it has five grams of sugar. Um, so it qualifies as a dry wine, but there is just that touch of sweetness in there as well. Very nice. Um, there's something, there's a fruit in there which I can't really put my finger on. It could be just in the finish, in the back of the wine. There's even a touch of grapefruit, would you believe? Grapefruit. So what do we got? Apple, peach, apricot, melon, grapefruit, <laughs> green pepper. An amazing combination. So a very, very exotic, citrusy um, combination here. Minerality as well. Um, a, a, an amazing combination. I, I, I'm lost for words here. Uh, brilliant in all respects. Um, make sure you serve it at the right temperature. I think we're talking about, you know, around about the eight or nine degree mark would be ideal for this kind of wine. Brilliant, uh, a brilliant creation, wonderful. Um, drink it as it is. Um, enjoy it with salads, uh, veggie dishes, uh, but also it would make a fine accompaniment to something like pork or um, grilled tuna, something like that, I would say. Uh, let's bring you the heads up on this one. This is a first class Grüner Weltliner um, with a producing or generating a fantastic range of flavors and aromas, beautiful harmony to this wine. Um, this is Steininger Reserve Loisium Weingarten Grüner Weltliner. The vintage is 2017. It comes in for a price of between 18 and 19 euro where I am. Maybe not for everyday drinking, but still a Grüner Weltliner out of the very top drawer. Four stars plus? No, what the hell? Five stars out of five. Okay, guys, many, many thanks uh, for tuning in and checking out this week's video and the little intro to a fantastic example of Austrian winemaking craft, Steininger, Grüner Weltliner, Loisium Weingarten, and the vintage there, 2017. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've uh, seen and heard today, then please do feel free to give us the big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. We're always extremely happy to receive your comments and feedback. Share the video around, follow me on my other social media platforms, and hey, if you haven't done so already, you can always subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. I'll be back again next week, of course, with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines and cheers.